the number one challenge for European fisheries is to address a persistent imbalance. Too few fish in the sea and too many fishing boats on the sea. To put an end to over-exploitation of this resource, the European Commission wishes to reform the common fisheries policy. The objective is to re-establish plentiful stocks, a growing fishing industry and sustainable fishing. We can fish, but at the same time we have to leave the stocks the capability to reproduce and be at a healthy state. In order for there to be more fish in the sea, the absolute rule would be that of maximum sustainable yield, and multi-annual plans would become the priority method to enable more stocks to achieve this yield. All the states should have a lot of more economic and human para que tengamos una ciencia que pueda dar cobertura a la gestión. To preserve these stocks, the discarding of bycatches will gradually be banned, certainly as far as commercial species are concerned. To reduce the number of boats on the sea, the system of transferable catch or efforts quotas would make for a more rational management of the fleet. Under this system, ship owners would be able to group together their quotas on fewer boats, thus ensuring their profitability. If there is a move towards um, tradable quotas, um, it's very important not to have the kind of concentration of ownership. Boats under 12 meters in length with passive fishing gear would not be subject to transferable quotas, so as to maintain the rights of small-scale fishing, which would have its own system of fleet and resource management. Noi crediamo che la politica debba essere separata, specifica per la, per la piccola pesca perché le esigenze, le caratteristiche anche del naviglio siano eh, specifiche e meritino una considerazione molto diversa da quella della pesca industriale. Aquaculture should become a priority so that it can find its place in the coastal economy. The member states should draw up their national strategic plans to facilitate the development of their aquaculture industry. Finally, fishery governance should be decentralised. The European Union would limit itself to setting objectives and schedules, while practical measures would be decided by member states at fishery level, by involving fishermen in a system of co-management. We see it as a possibility for that fish industry can have more influence on processes that mean something for their day. The Commission has submitted its proposal to the Member States and the European Parliament. The future of the common fisheries policy is now in their hands. <laughs>